Section 6.1, number 2. Here we have three numbers, and we want to find the greatest common factor that the numbers share. So if you don't see it right away, what it is, then just go ahead and list some factors of the numbers. You don't even have to list all the factors, just the ones that you can think of quickly. So let's list the different factorings. 28 could be 2 times 14. It could be 4 times 7. 12 could be 2 times 6 could be 3 times 4, and 24 could be 2 times 12, could be 3 times 8, it could be 4 times 6. And let's take a look at what we have so far. For the different factorings of the three numbers, they do have a factor in common. Well, they have a couple. They have a 2 in common, 2, 2, 2. They have a 4 in common, 4, 4, 4. And the 4 is higher, so it's probably the greatest common factor. And the way to double check and make sure that it is, is to look at the other pieces of the factorings. If they don't have anything in common, that means that you've found the greatest common factor, because 7 cannot factor down at all. 3 and 6 have a common factor of 3, but the 7 doesn't. So we know that we found the greatest common factor, 4. GCF equals 4. Let's look at another one now. Let's look at one that has variables. So let's try out number 5. Because in most problems we deal with, we're going to have an expression, and we're going to want to take out the common factors, the greatest common factors, and there will be numbers and variables to deal with. So let's say we have a squared times b and minus ab squared. Okay, so if you see right away what the greatest common factors are, that's great. You can just list them. We can look at the first and the second terms here and say, well, let's see, this one's got two a's, this one has one. What do they have in common? They have one a. All right, and these are already factors because they're all being multiplied together. The first expression here has a b, one b. This one has two b's. What do they have in common? They have one b in common. This one has a minus sign, this one is positive. They do not have a negative in common, so we're not going to put a negative. That means the GCF for this pair of expressions is AB. And if you're not too sure, just list out in expanded notation what you have for each of them. And then you could say, okay, we've got an A here and an A here, a B here and a B here, and that way you won't end up listing too many items. A, B, A, B is what they have in common.